this goes on here somehow. These, these screws don't go there. I don't know what screws go on there, but for the moment I'm just going to snap this in place. And I'm going to turn this to work on this. And I think we're going to have fit issues here on this. Well, it doesn't have to be... perfect, I guess. There we go. So we know that this screw... goes in the servo. So let's put this in. And then we know that this... Oh, that goes on top of it. Good grief. Sure does. I can tell whoever designed this doesn't have any hand issues yet. somebody who has hand issues would never design something like this that has this much complication to, to its assembly. Fortunately, this doesn't look like it's going to have enough throw to open this. I guess at that point, this is going to get screwed in and tilt it up like this.
So let me attach this to this. All right, so what we're gonna do is figure out exactly where this goes, which is approximately there. And then we're gonna mark it with a Sharpie. And we're gonna pre-drill the plastic so it doesn't split. So hopefully this will go smoothly. just kick this up so that this will push against it open the door a little bit Fortunately, the door is this, this is just catching it, so I'm gonna do something bad and just trim this little hook a little bit. So that this should do is rotate this and push the door open about there, it cracks it, a little vent, and then it should allow this to rotate all the way back. All right, that looks good. Screws that go in here. He did say don't tighten these too much. They'll interfere with the touch screen, so I'm just gonna snug them. back them off half turn. They really seem longer than they need to be. All right, there we go. So at this point, the only thing that's left to do is to unwrap this itch blanket and stuff it on here and then put it back together. So I think that's a good spot to transfer this out to the garage.